me the Fisher Technic Mechanic and Static 2 set to review. This set says ages nine and up. However, after using it, my whole family kind of agrees that this would most likely be better for slightly older than nine, or if you have a really mechanically inclined nine-year-old, they probably would do well, but it is pretty advanced. So we do think that nine age is definitely on the young end for this set. And as far as the upper age, it can definitely go all the way through adults. This set includes 500 tiny little pieces and an instruction book. And the pieces come in various bags and they're not labeled or anything. So it's kind of like you're doing a scavenger hunt for the pieces that you need. I don't know if there was supposed to be some purpose to how the pieces were bagged, but it didn't seem like there was a purpose to how the pieces were bagged. It wasn't like all of the same types of pieces were in one bag, so that was a little confusing. So the book is set up to be done in sequential order. So you start with the first step, which is you know gears, and then you move on from there. If you try to jump in to something that's later in the book, you're going to miss steps and you're going to miss important knowledge that you will have gained from starting from the beginning. Plus, like if you say you want to make the car, when you're making the car, it doesn't show you the base because the base was already done in a different previous step. So you really do kind of need to work through this in order, in order for everything to make sense and really flow well. It starts by teaching you how to make mechanical gears and then it builds onto that with additional gearing and then it moves on to incline planes and then cars and there's different variations of cars. Then it goes into uh, gear shafts and cam shafts. It's extremely technical and advanced. So I originally got this for my 17 year old who has always kind of been interested in engineering. And although she is going to be a teacher, um, engineering was kind of like one of her interests too and she's done some different um, engineering camps and things like that. So I thought this would be really great for her. Um, but my 14 year old also used it as well and my husband. <laughs> so all three of them use this and they both or they all kind of agreed that this would make a perfect co-op class. So if every kid in like a co-op had their own set, this is something that you could definitely span the entire semester with because it is it really dives deep into all this mechanical engineering stuff and um, it really is it, it really is enough material to cover a semester like that. So whether you want it to do it in a co-op setting or you just wanted to make it a, like a class in your home school for the semester, that would work really well too. And basically you want to have space that you can have available for this set that you don't have to constantly be taking it apart because you're going to be adding on and building on to different things. So it's not something you really wanna keep taking apart and redoing because then you're constantly starting from the beginning basically. It does take a while. So it's not a quick thing that you can do. I definitely think that if your kid is interested in mechanics and engineering that this set is perfect for them. They will learn so much and you could even honestly give them some credit for doing this because it takes a lot of time and skill to do everything in this set. Like I said, this set is really good for kids and you know young adults who are kind of more mechanically inclined, but for those who are not, this set might be overwhelming to them. So I would just really decide, you know, kind of what your child's interests and, and natural inclinations are when you're deciding, you know, whether or not to purchase this set. It really just depends on the child and kind of their inclinations and interests, whether or not this set would be a, a good fit. But I definitely think it teaches problem solving skills and attention to detail. And of course, you know, STEM, I mean, it's, it's science and engineering and 
The only other thing I will mention is that it does require some tools that aren't included in the kit. Like you needed a screwdriver and that is not included in the kit. So you wanna have some basic tools on hand. But other than that, all the pieces of course are included. And so um, it was a lot of fun. My teens and my husband had a lot of fun doing it and they would definitely recommend it if you have some a child or an adult who's interested in this type of mechanical engineering type of stuff they would love this so anyway I hope this review was helpful to you if you have any questions please do let me know I'm going to leave a link down below of my timber doodle playlist so you can check out all my timber doodle product reviews I absolutely love timber doodle they're a wonderful company and you can always find hands-on and engaging stuff at timberdoodle.com and so that's definitely my place to go when I want hands-on engaging and fun things for our homeschool and so I definitely recommend that you go check them out and I will see you in the next one.